What's going on, you guys? It's Abriel R32 here, bringing you guys my 2015 in review. And before I get into my 2015 in review, I wanted to give uh, Master Fox 72 a quick shout out. I just did a video with him a couple days ago. Uh, it was part of his History of Yu-Gi-Oh series in which we did two duels, or two videos, I should say. We ended up doing three duels, where we did an uh, old school duel from May 2002, and it was a lot of fun. Um, he edited it well. Uh, the way the, that we ended up having to do it was that I recorded. Uh, what I was saying and then he recorded what he was saying since he couldn't be able to record both of us at the same time basically So we ended up recording off each other and then I sent him the file as an mp4 And he was able to edit me in there at just the right points in time So hopefully you guys will enjoy those videos again. It is youtube.com slash masterfox72 Please check him out. Please subscribe. He busts his ass making his videos and other than that let's hop right into this video so, I wanted to do my 2015 in review. Um, now, you're probably wondering why you're looking at my channel. It's because, for one thing, I was going to do a Minecraft live commentary, but then I had to update the Java, and I didn't have any extra COD gameplay. So, basically, we're going to kind of be going through the year as I'm talking about it, looking through, like, kind of like what's happened on my channel and whatnot, and just discussing life in general. So, <clears throat> of course, for starters, my life in general, um, I finally topped a regional... Um, ignore ignore this this was for my school but I finally topped a regional uh, I was so so happy to have been able to do that um, that was def definitely one of the high moments in uh, 2015 and also if you guys want to see my 2013 in review I'm gonna link both part one and part two to my 2013 in review in the uh, description in case you guys want to go watch that and kind of see my um, uh, how I evolved over those past two years. I didn't do a 2014 in review. I'm not sure why, but I guess I just didn't feel like doing it for whatever reason. But this is kind of my way of just talking about how many years I've been on YouTube as well. And just, you know, kind of want to take the time to thank you guys for showing your support. And of course, to all the people out that have helped support me. Um, as I said at the beginning of the video, I mentioned Master Fox 72 because we just recently did a video together, um, which was a lot of fun to do. I was very happy with it. And, uh, I didn't grow on YouTube so much this year. Uh, past couple years, I haven't really grown, um, but I did gain a few some few subscribers from doing that video, and um, it was it was obviously a lot of fun to do. Really enjoyed it. Um, I graduated high school. I made that vlog seven months ago. Um, that was crazy. That was definitely definitely crazy. Um, other things with my life. I mean, I grew as a person. I, I really feel like I did. I um, I, I made a lot of friends in college. Uh, rant on Gage and his terrible behavior. Uh, that was a fun video to do. Um, I just, I overall enjoyed uh, doing YouTube. I know that there was at some points where I just, I didn't enjoy it so much. Um, there wasn't really a lot of things I wanted to talk about just because I couldn't find essentially the willpower kind of like in the words of wings of redemption it's hard to want to make a video when you you just you can't get the motivation to do it um this was from a year ago as well i did my pokemon let's play which didn't really take off um but it is what it is um <clears throat> i don't know just like there were so many things that happened in 2015 that were both good and bad like um some of the things that happened were um, I was dating this girl, obviously, while I was still in high school, went into breaking up, which isn't a big deal. Um, I made my Avery equals 18, which was a year ago. Um, that didn't really get a lot of views on it, um, which isn't really that big of a deal. Uh, but, man, just the change is just crazy. Like, looking back on my life out of all of 2015, like, I started off in 2014, you know, in high school. By the time 2015 hit, I graduated and I was going off to college and doing everything else um, obviously me and Gage are still friends uh, for about four years now um, three to four years or so and he just hit his three-year mark which is uh, which is crazy to think about um, just everything like that is just mind-boggling to look back on uh, in regards to family my family's doing great. Um, my mom actually also wrote a book. Um, I'm going to leave, well, there's technically not a link to that in the description, but I will leave a link in the description of my Facebook in case you guys want to add me on there. And then if you want to buy a copy of my mother's book, uh, 
I will, like I said, leave a link to my Facebook in the description so you guys can message me on there in case you want a copy. It's only ten dollars, so hopefully, um, you know, we'll able to kind of get those moving. It's been in the making for quite some time, so um, I will admit, if you're not necessarily religious, you might not really like it too too much. Um, but I think it's still a good read for anybody. Personally speaking, that's going to sound really biased, but regardless, um, hopefully you guys will check it out. Um, not really anything in regards to people that I'm subscribed to. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, nothing too special to look at here. Uh, Charlie Chaplin, of course, doesn't do YouTube anymore. Um, but yeah, college obviously kept me busy and all that fun stuff. Um, just kind of looking back on the high and low points, as I mentioned earlier, there was definitely a lot more highs than lows. Uh, you know, like I said, I graduated high school. I'm doing amazing in college. I love college. Uh, I tell people all the time, uh, a day in college, any day in college is better than a good day in high school, um, which is a lot because I, I, I thought high school was fun for the time, but I just, I didn't really like it uh, at all. I, I don't really like school in general, uh, but college I, I actually do love because, you know, you're off doing your own thing. You're doing whatever it is that you want to do. And it's it's great. You just you have so much freedom. To anyone that is watching this and you're still in high school or even junior high for that matter, if if you if you just keep on working your butt off, it's it's gonna pay off. It's gonna be worth it. Um, but uh, you you have to walk before you can run, and that's kind of what high school does for you. Um, <clears throat> Not not any bullying in college though. So if you're one of those people that was like me, bullied, uh, you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> um, some of the lows, like I mentioned, you know, still kind of single. Unfortunately, uh, it is what it is. Uh, not much you can really do about situations like that. Um, but you know, there is a yin to every yang, and uh, you know, she just wasn't the girl for me. We dated for five months though, and uh, we broke up actually at the beginning of this year, so 2015 wasn't even really starting off that well, but uh, it, it of course got better. I went to EDC Orlando, that was a lot of fun, uh, spent time with my cousin, which is amazing, I love my cousin to death, like, we, family-wise, I've definitely, not just her, I mean, just, you know, of course, family in general, you're always growing closer to them, uh, but me and my cousin especially, we grew, I feel, very close, uh, much closer than we've ever been before out of my 19 years of life, and that is awesome to uh, see <laughs> that um, that we're able to, you know, hang out more because I'm older and I can drive myself and do whatever it is that I want to do. And, you know, she can kind of, you know, come along for the ride and we can just, you know, catch up on life or just talk about anything, really. And uh, that's that's a great feeling to have with, uh, with your cousin. So hopefully... Hopefully you guys feel the same way about your family, and if you don't, um, I'm, I'm very sorry, because uh, I know situations like that can be very difficult. Um, but, uh, again, overall, I just, I, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing YouTube. I, I still enjoy all the things that I enjoyed in 2014 and 2013. Uh, I'm still a fun, outgoing person. I'm still building crazy decks like this, or playing self-destruct button, which needs to come back to three. My god, like, they, they need to bring this back. I'm sorry, but I will rant and rave about this for days. They need to bring this back. <laughs> um, I will still play what people consider to be helmet decks like Cosmo. You know, I, Cosmo is now one of my new favorite decks of all time because I got my regional top with it. Burial Dad will always be my favorite deck of all time. In case you guys haven't seen that, just type in Avril R32 Burial Dad and you'll find it. Or go to my channel and in the search bar on my channel, type in Burial Dad. And um, that, that, that deck was a lot of fun. Um, I might even play some games with that because I know Gage built it for this format and uh, he said it's, it's actually pretty good. Um, but, man, just... So much has changed. Like this was definitely a changing year overall for me. Like if there, if I had to describe 2015 in one word, it would be change. It would definitely be the number one thing that pops into my mind is change because so much has changed for the good and for the bad. Um, I would say more for the good. You know, relationships are, you know, they're whatever. They're in the past. You gotta let those things go. Uh, in college, there's a whole new set of opportunities. You know. In college, you could possibly meet the girl that you're going to marry. At least that's what I'm hoping for anyway. Like, I'm one of those people that thinks way ahead in the future. Like, 
I'm at the point now in my life, like, even though I'm only 19 years old, I'm always thinking about, like, man, like, if I had a boy or a girl, what would I name him or her, or, you know, I want my wife to be like this, what, you know, what, what am I going to do for finances and this and that, and just, you know, it's good and fun things to think about, you know, it kind of racks your mind and makes you think and really kind of gives you the chance to kind of take a step back and sit down and smell the roses and just kind of enjoy life, which is just what I've been loving to do in this year has just been enjoying life. Uh, still single, yes, single does suck, I will admit. I'm one of those people where I feel like I have to be in a relationship. But it helps when you're just able to enjoy life and not have those things bog you down, which is something that I've been working on. Um, and the word, uh, in regards to the new year also, will I be making a New Year's resolution? Probably not, just because, you know, you got to commit to that. And I'm not saying I'm not committed or anything, but, you know, in the words of Gage, I think, in his words, and I quote, I think New Year's resolutions are stupid because <clears throat> unless you're 100% committed to it and you just, you know, drop it off after a week into the new year, then New Year's resolutions are pointless. So I, I agree with him on that. But if you can stay dedicated to it, then it's definitely worth it. But I did this back in my 2013 video, so I got to do it for my 2015 video. My New Year's resolution, uh, I, I would have to say, is um, staying happy. Definitely staying happy. You know, um, as I mentioned, the relationships aren't everything, you know, they're not the end of the world if you're single, um, you know, and it, it saves you a lot of money, too, on top of that, because girls can be expensive. <laughs> like, a uh, quick little bit of a funny story, I took this girl out on a date, and it was actually the girl I was talking to when I made the Dodge Challenger video, which my buddy told me I accidentally said Charger instead of Challenger, and he even commented on the video, which I can't believe I made that mistake, but... uh yeah, that, that girl I was talking to at the time when I made that video, um, I took her out to dinner and everything and then gave her all these compliments and she didn't even realize I was even hitting on her, which really sucked. So to say the least, that didn't really work out <laughs> and I uh, haven't spoken to her since. <laughs> so um, yeah, I I actually think that this is it for the video. I thought I was going to make a part one and a part two. If, if I think of anything else, I'll definitely do a, a part two. But as of right now, this is going to be it. But if you guys would like to see more of this, I can obviously do more year interviews of 2015 before the year is over. Um, I'm definitely going to go out and celebrate the new year, probably hang out with my cousin uh, since we've grown a lot closer, which is awesome. And uh, just I'm going to keep on enjoying life, and I'm going to keep on making videos for you guys. And uh, thank you guys again for always supporting the channel. Please keep on spreading the word. Um, and hopefully one year I'll be saying I made it to 1,000 subscribers, which would be really cool. Um, I said that back in 2013. If I don't hit a thousand subscribers by by the end of 2014, I'd quit. But I'm having too much fun with this gig, so I guess I got to keep it up. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. I know this is a bit of a long ramble, but I think I covered all my bases, and I also gave the shout out to Master Fox and to my mom's new book that I've been meaning to do. I didn't want Master Fox to think I wasn't going to give him a shout out because I had been planning on it. Just the holidays, uh, you know, came up, and I just was very slammed with that. And I'm working 17 hours this upcoming week at work. So wish me luck on that, you guys. <laughs> uh, and if I don't come back to YouTube after the end of, of this upcoming week, then you know what happened to me. I probably died working 17 hours. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching, as always. If you enjoyed a like or favorite, it would be appreciated. Let me know what you guys have planned for the new year. Are you guys going to quit Yu-Gi-Oh? Are you guys going to stop watching my channel? Are you guys going to go and drink champagne? Are you guys celebrating your 21st birthday? Let me know what you guys are doing. Um, I would be very excited to hear what you guys have to say. Thank you guys for watching, and have yourself a great day, and enjoy the new year.